this is the opening game of the season. Mm -hmm. Like, you remember this. You, you probably know this play right yeah, now. Yeah. Like, you're going to meet Deion Jones. Yeah. But, like, it's almost like when you get here, we talk about contact balance, winning your contact battles. Like, you take the fight to him right here. When I saw that, I was like, that's a powerful man. <laughs> like, what did you feel when you hit him? I think he felt it. <laughs> <laughs> I know he felt it. I, I, don't, I, don't, I truly think he don't think I seen him. And he was trying to, you know, catch a hit from the side because the way I was running, but I seen him the whole time. Yeah. And that's just the type of type of blow I was trying to deliver on him because, you know, you see the you see the press conferences and you see the, the interviews. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, he, he, pretty, he said some things in his interviews before oh. the game. There are many guys who can run with Cooks. Um, and that may come down to you a couple of three. Who knows uh, whatsoever? You familiar with uh, what he can do? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, it kind of got you. It got me. <laughs> <laughs> Little bulletin board stuff. He had me. Like something like that? You bounce up, you're not feeling anything? Yeah, I bounced up off that one. I delivered the blow, protected myself, and was ready to deliver it. That was a good one. I like this one, too. I know this one, too. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> it's the same thing. You're on to that safety. Contact battles. Like yeah, it is. Truck. 70%. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, I mean, just your vision, the way you get skinny here. So when you catch a toss like that, just talk me through where your eyes go. I mean, I'm assuming. You're trying to get outside first, mm -hmm. right? So eyes on defensive end first, see if you get that reach. But if you see how I'm getting the ball, the last play we had, it's the same exact play. Mm -hmm. But I kind of knew the defense we was facing and kind of knew I had to slow myself down because mm -hmm. this was a fast defense. Right, penetrating. Yeah, so I had to slow myself down and I knew I could get back though and break an arm tackle. Mm -hmm. So, but against Atlanta, I just had to put my speed on it, get outside because it was giving us the edge. But right. this one, I kind of slowed my feet down, shuffled a little bit, then I broke an arm tackle. But what I like about this play, though, this short toss, yep. is it gives you the time to slow down. Mm -hmm. You really get a chance to really take a snapshot mm -hmm. of what's in front of you, mm -hmm. where to go. Like Kurt said, can you take it outside? Can you cut it back? Like, it gives you time to use your eyes. Yeah, and that's and that's what the play is designed to do, is give you all the cuts you need. And that's why, you know, it's quick, it's good to get the ball in my hands right now so I can make that decision. I mean, just another deal right here, Dalvin. It's just like this contact right here. Like, if they don't got your legs, it, I mean, they hit them, but they don't have them. Like, we was in a shootout in this game, man. We, we won it because we scored more points. Right. And this was just one of those plays to get us started, you know, mm -hmm. by will. And this was early in the game, too, like first quarter, second possession. And you know, it was just one of those plays to get us started and just God giving talent, just taking over and yeah. making plays. What makes a good running back? Well, he's a great running back because of vision, because of toughness. By seeing it coming, you drop and meet force with force. Mm -hmm. And I, that's the key. You know, some guys don't see that. You do a great job of staying with your balance mm -hmm. here so you're able to stay Keep and run alive. through it instead of, you know, him bringing you back. Because he actually thinks I'm bracing for the contact, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> so it's kind of like a trick. <laughs> OK. <laughs> do you have a favorite run? Outside zone. Outside zone? Yep. OK. This is it right here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This is it right here. Just because you can stretch? I can stretch them. I can use my speed. I can put my put my foot in the ground without even losing speed. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the explosive runs come. You know, mm -hmm. if you see guys around the league, once they put their foot in the ground, you, know, you see McCaffrey break off a lot of runs with just putting his foot in the ground and just going. You know this play. Yeah. Did you, how early did you see this? Early in the game, I was like one or two men's away from breaking, and we was in this game. We was kept running the toss play that we that you just seen. Yep. But I kept telling coach, you know, Zadarius is a good player. Knocked down initially with Zadarius Smith. He got up and made the tackle from behind. He's not letting me do what I want to do, so just hand me the ball and, and let's go downhill. And you know, as soon as I said that, it popped right open. Hand off Dalvin Cook, makes a man miss. He has a safety to beat, it's Darnell Savage. And he beat him! Dalvin Cook to the 30, and he's loose! 75-yard TD for Dalvin Cook. 
Like, is it a home run right now? Yeah, I wasn't the safety. He back there to say that. Yeah, he's back there. He'll, he'll show up. <laughs> but, and, and I think that's when my game took a jump. You know, I would have got at this point right here and tried to put a move or right, and slow to my feet. Maybe the pursuit gets you if you kind of shuffle. But it's 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 no no false movements. Just just go and just run past it. But you have like I'm, I'm going to show you the end zone here now because I saw this all the time at Florida State. Mm -hmm. But you have this ability to take your inside leg away from the defender. You know he's driving to the inside leg right here. But that ability, like I've seen you on one foot. <laughs> like you give it to him and then you you will not let him get it. I, I don't, it's a- You I don't think about it. It's really a reaction with me. Like when I really step out of tackle, yeah. like I just slip my leg out. I really started doing that these last two years. So you said, this is what's changed. Like before you might try to make a move and, and try to juke him out as opposed to just running through this. Is that different this year or when did when did that click in? It's crazy because when I tore my ACL, it was on a play just like this. It was playing Detroit and I got one-on-one -on -one with the safety. I could have just ran by him for a touchdown. I got up on him and I, I was running so fast and I, and I tried to give him a move and that's when I tore my ACL. So I was like, <laughs> I'm fast yeah, enough well, to right. run by these guys. Trust your speed. Yeah, yeah. And, just, and just not think about it and go. And But you do have amazing footwork. This is an example right here. Uh, you can still put that foot in the ground and get sideways, make all those people miss in short spaces. Yeah, I can't even explain it. It's just, that's just happening right there. Yeah. <laughs> when when you're, re you're, you're running more of a zone play like this, your eyes on linebackers, is it mostly feel? Where do your eyes go as soon as you get the football? I, it go to my read, yeah. I remember this play like it was yesterday. Uh -huh. I seen 73 moving. Yeah. I'm like, I know I could get back though because they wasn't chasing as much on the backside. Yeah. Because they was really kind of like respecting our game, but he kind of chased me on this one. And I try to get to the line of scrimmage as fast as I can okay. to get those guys running. Once I get those guys running, I think, you know, once I put my foot in the ground, it's an arm tackle or we're going to meet in the hole. Yeah. So that's why I pretty much deal with the linebackers by putting my speed on and getting them guys going. So So you're reading defensive linemen? Mm -hmm. So you're, like, seeing 73 first yeah. Yeah. to see if I you get put... him reached mm -hmm. or he pushes? Yeah, okay. I can put my foot in the ground. I got you. I'm hearing cool. Put your foot in the ground. Mm. And this is just you? Yeah, this, this is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sees it, cuts it back. Now he's just making people miss. 33 is that special. This footwork right here, Dow, like, like, it's just, <laughs> it's crazy. You get out of a jam mm. right there. You freeze them all. Galvin up the middle, bumps it out to the left, 2015. Galvin runs for a first down. Yeah, I was kind of unexpected. CJ was going to cut because Coach always told him an open space to cut, but I knew I didn't know he was going to cut on the line of scrimmage. Yeah. So that's why I kind of shot me. Oh, okay. I kind of did that. I thought I had a free run. I thought he was just going to hit him, and I was going to yeah. run through. Go right through that eight. Yeah, but I'm like, he cut him, and I'm like, hold up. Uh, I got to okay. have a backup plan. That made plan. you stutter. Yeah, I got to have a backup plan. Do you like two back? you like CJ? Yeah, I love him out there. And I just think it, make, it makes it better for me because you know, CJ could do so much, mm -hmm. and you know he catches the football. So we keep we keep guys pretty honest, and you know when he comes in the game, it's just not going to be a run. You know, it could be a play action, and so I keep him honest, and, and he's a physical guy. So you talk about with an eye back. I, I'm always fascinated too, because I think some backs are better in the eye, and in this day and age, you know, in offenses, a lot of it's becoming the zone read and the offset stuff. Walk me through a little bit of the differences between coming straight downhill and having to go sideways before what you like better? Um, I, I think it's a difference because, you know, when you got guys, when you got linebackers and, and D linemen, the mentality of those guys when you get an information is different. They kind of think you're running the football. And it's, it's us against them. And I like that mentality. Yeah. You know, when we in our formation, this is the physical ball. Mm -hmm. This is what we're about to play. And we coming downhill. Mm -hmm. But if you're getting a shotgun, it's kind of like they throwing it, they, you know what I'm saying, like stuff like that. But I think it's just the, the different mindsets. Do you do you feel you're just as effective? Because I feel like you're one of those guys that has great feet as Baldy's showing. So there's some guys, they get in that offset position and they start going sideways. They're not nearly as effective. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're just as effective that way. Yeah, I ran I ran both of them in college, so I'm comfortable with them. And, you know, we, we was in gun quite a bit, but I feel we got under that center and got yeah. in the eye. A lot, like 80% of the time and shit. Yeah. I think a lot of teams have this play in, Dalvin. Like, you're screening yeah, we, away. We stole this play. 
You just said from San Francisco? <laughs> I forgot who you thought it. <laughs> Debo read it. Debo. <laughs> yeah. They boot like Garoppolo right. They throw it back to Debo Samuel, blocked by Staley. And Talbotson gets down the sideline. What a beautifully designed and executed screen there to Debo. Everybody steals. Why wouldn't you try something that works so well? And you see it on tape. You're like, hey, coach, what do you think? I mean, you got the whole convoy out there. Is there anything that you're telling yourself in setting the play up that yeah. you have to do? And the thing about this, we had just run the play action play, so we, we came back and ran this play. Oh, it's kind of like no fake. I really don't fake. If you see me, I didn't fake them. Yeah. You know, I just, I just kind of like lollygag in the backfield right. like I always do. That's, that's, like, that's, that's, that's the one where you get to be lazy, right? Yeah, There's lazy one fake. chance to be lazy. <laughs> yeah. It's on this play. Lazy fake, and you know, uh, and that was, that was it. And that is what Dalvin Cook does. Cook is as dangerous catching the ball like that as he is running with it. Baldy, you got to get me to some protection. All right. Uh, you know, because that to me is. That's where real football comes in, especially for, you know, running backs, right? Is the ability to understand pass protections, mm -hmm. concepts. So just take me through your protection here and what, what your responsibilities are. We really put to have a gap call on this. You're saying gap call, meaning the tackle. They gotta come down. Should squeeze down yeah, they, so you get the defensive end. Yeah, they gotta right. come down, but. I didn't see none, so I kind of <laughs> made my mind up. And I know Sean Lee is a downhill yeah, you know, he linebacker. Gonna come after you. He gonna yeah. come after you. And I knew I had to, I had to get down there with him, but coach was saying set the tone off in the early, yeah. cut him down. Do you guys have scan protection? We do. Where you sometimes have to go coast to coast? We do. Yeah? Yeah, we got those protections. 